Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video, I'll show you how to create a cinematic trailer in Filmora. Let's start by importing the audio file to the media library, add the audio file to the timeline and listen to it. Now use the marker to track every audio bit throughout the audio. Once done, go to the title options, click on title and choose the default title. Select and right click on the text, click on show properties and then advanced. Under the text box, type simple and easy. And then send the font size of the text to 90 and change the font to American Captain. Now let's change the text field to image field. To do that, import your image of your choice to fill the text and then click OK. Also, let's add one more text below, click on add text and drag the text downwards. Change the photo of the text to 44. Let us first to 10 and the font to Antonio Medium. Then click on animation and select cinema style. Now on each bit marked, spread the rest of the text. Then add text to each box. So now under the Femora X text, change the font size of letter X to 105. Since now you are done editing the text, import your file over a video. Drag the video over to the timeline and set the speed to 4 times faster. Then select and right click on the video vary, click on show properties and select multiply under blending mode. Then click on transform to change the position of the video over to 10 and 35. And then finally copy and paste the video over. After editing, export the video. Now let's delete all the media files on the timeline and the media library. Once done, import all your project file into the media library. 
bring the background video to the timeline and adjust the video. Select the video and click on pan and zoom option. Also change the opacity of the background video to 85%. Next bring in the fire part for video on the timeline and change it to screen. Resize and adjust the video with less dust particles. After copy and paste the video to the end of the timeline. Then bring the fire impact video, also the lens flare video, and the text video to the timeline. Then select the fire particle video, right click on it and select the screen. Now select the text video to detach audio. Let's delete the audio from the timeline. Now let's animate. Select the text video and split it where the audio bitmark appears. So now we add keyframe to the text and background video to adjust their position and scale. Now select the text box. Go to animation. Add the keyframe at the start of the video at 400. Go down. Also add another keyframe on the background video at 400. Next, skip 5 frames and add another keyframe of 100 on both videos. Again, go back to the text video, add another keyframe to 85. Now press and adjust the fire impact and the less fire video on the second flame.
after editing the video, let's preview and then export that video.